Ukraine has received and successfully used some Martlet missiles since it first received them back in 2022, destroying Russian Orlan 10, Rese UAVs and other targets. According to the Kyiv Post media outlet, on June the 27th, 2022, servicemen of the 95th Separate Airborne Assault Brigade downed a Russian Ka-52 alligator helicopter with a Martlet missile. Great Britain has recently been training more Ukrainian servicemen to use the Martlet. This missile's main advantage is that it is multifunctional. It can effectively destroy both aerial and surface targets in a wide range of combat actions. It can be launched from various platforms, helicopters, ships or ground launchers. Notably, it is a very modern weapon. The first batch of 1,000 Martlet missiles ordered in 2013 became available in 2021. The UK government's recent £176 million order envisions not only the production of Martlet missiles, but also the modernization of the launching platforms, including anti-ship missile systems. There are also plans to arm the majority of the Royal Navy's Wildcat onboard multi-role helicopters with Martlet missiles. The Martlet measures a mere 1.3 meters in length and 76 millimeters in diameter and weighs 13 kilograms. One British anti-submarine helicopter can carry as many as 20 Martlets in one sortie and effectively destroy seaborne targets as well as helicopters and UAVs thanks to the modern fire control and targeting system. Flying at Mach 1.3 or 1,800 kilometers an hour, the Martlet can effectively destroy targets at ranges up to 9 kilometers. It is half the speed of Star Streak, but this gives it a number of advantages. One of the advantages is the longer effective range, 9 kilometers versus the Star Streak's 5 to 6 kilometers, as the Martlet spends less fuel per second. Another advantage is higher precision. Missile system operators know that at a relatively lower speed, it is easier to control a missile and guide it to a moving target. Having selected a surface or aerial target, the operator keeps it locked until the impact while the missile is guided by the laser from the launcher. The laser beam is controlled by the operator through a joystick and the launcher does not need to be moved. Given the increased production of Martlet missiles in the UK, those supplied to the Ukraine Defense Forces might be launched not only from ground platforms but also from Mi-8 and Mi-24 helicopters. Moreover, in order to save aircraft and crews that Ukraine is short of, Martlet missiles could be launched from UAVs. One more important advantage is the cost. The production of one Martlet costs around $30,000, which is cheaper than $60,000 to $80,000 per Igla-1 missile and greatly cheaper than almost $850,000 per German-produced missile from the Stinger FIM 92K Block 1. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Ukraine's air forces have destroyed over 8,000 air targets launched by Russian troops. Ukraine's Air Force Commander Mykola Oleschuk shared the information. Over two and a half years, the Air Force has destroyed more than 8,000 enemy air targets hundreds of aircraft and helicopters, thousands of cruise missiles and drones. Ukrainian pilots have flown over 20,000 combat missions, most of them involving the combat use of aviation weapons. Using modern Western weapons with high quality and skill, the Air Force soldiers showed great courage, heroism, professionalism and ingenuity, he said, congratulating the Air Force on their professional holiday. Oleschuk also added that last year he addressed the NATO Air Force commanders with the slogan, Victory on the ground is forged in the sky. The commander called on his colleagues to create a strong air coalition and on the eve of the full-scale invasion he spoke to them about the closed skies over Ukraine and the need to strengthen Ukraine's air defense. The battle for the sky continues. The enemy is attacking us with bombs and missiles around the clock, conducting aerial reconnaissance and striking with drones every night. The Air Force, side by side with the air defense of the entire Ukrainian Defense Forces, repels the attacks. As far as possible, they destroy enemy air attack equipment, hit the enemy from the air and keep the defense on the ground, Oleshchuk emphasized.
According to him, during the large-scale invasion, 4,475 servicemen of the Air Force were awarded state awards for personal courage and selflessness in the defense of state sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. 47 of them became heroes of Ukraine, 25 posthumously. Today, I congratulate all servicemen and veterans of the Air Force on the 20th anniversary. I thank everyone who makes every effort for our victory. I am grateful to our partners, volunteers, civil society and everyone who helps us to become stronger in the fight for peace and freedom for our Ukraine. The commander summarized.